Morning and thanks for waking up with us here on KSNT News. I'm Kelly Peltier. Yeah, TGIF. It's Friday. We um, made it. <laughs> we did make it. <laughs> well, fall is officially here, and the 40th annual Cider Days Fall Market is coming to Stormont Vale Event Center starting tomorrow. And KSNT News reporter James Ryan is live in Central Topeka this morning. James, I know you love a good <laughs> fall festival, as do I. You both know I do, and it's definitely feeling like fall. It's got a little bit cooler outside and if you've ever walked through exhibition hall during cider days you know it's impossible not to catch those fall vibes now eight to ten thousand people are expected to take part uh, come out for this event this weekend there will be nearly 200 handmade crafts and vintage vintage vendors taking part in this year's event this is the first year the market will be held in the newly expanded exhibition hall and organizers say they are taking advantage of the extra space and that's why we were able to bring in some of the outdoor activities, which might make it easier on parents that want to let their kids play maybe while they shop. So this way mom can kind of meander and maybe dad can kind of hang out by the play area and let the kids play while mom does her Christmas shopping. Along with the inflatables in the shopping, organizers say there will be a petting zoo, face painters, and balloon artists. That way kids won't get bored while uh, parents are checking out all those fall goodies. There will also be live music and so many fall treats. There will be fresh apple cider as well as an apple pie baking contest and an apple pie eating contest. So both ends of the spectrum right there. So break out your flannels, break out your fleece, come on down this weekend and just give in to the fall vibes <laughs> <laughs> live in central Topeka covering local news that matters. James Ryan, KSNT News. Thanks, James. I mean, if that doesn't get you in the fall spirit, I don't know what will. Oh, I know. Now, Cider Days runs from 10 till 6 on Saturday and then again from 11 to 4 on Sunday. Tickets are $8 at the door, but kids 13 and under get in for free. And you know, yesterday we just ran a story about how it might be hard to find like Christmas decorations we this did. year. This is a perfect way to go and get some decorations for your house or anything like that that's handmade by someone in the area. That's so true. I love supporting local, shopping small. Yeah. And, and it's, it's unique too. You're yeah. not going to find it at like Hobby Lobby or something like that. So. Exactly. And it'll get you in those fall vibes like James said. <laughs> exactly. <laughs>